What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Giant Sparrow. I want to talk about where is their next game. I thought this would kind of be a fun video to do on the second channel. I obviously had used to do videos like this all the time, and I've kind of cut back on it. But in terms of where these games are, I think there is reason to ask the question about this. Now, if you guys don't know who Giant Sparrow is, well, shame on you. I'm just kidding. But no, I mean, they've created two honestly incredible incredible games in the unfinished swan and what remains of edith finch both of those are some of my favorite games truly of all time i actually wouldn't be making this video if i didn't actually mean that right they are phenomenal games i suggest you play them we're coming up on the 10 year anniversary of the unfinished swan i've done a video essay on what remains of edith finch i mean these are just such good games but the thing of i guess the reason why i bring up this video is it's been a long time long time since what remains of edith finch so if you want to go over when these games release which i suggest that would be something we should do and so we will what remains of edith finch came out five years ago it came out i believe in april of 2017 so it's been over five years and then the unfinished swan came out in october of 2012 so the difference between those two games was about four and a half years now we're approaching five and a half years between what remains of edith finch and then this new game Obviously, we had two years, or maybe even at least, well, at least one year of very uh, chaos. Can we call it chaos? I think that's probably fair, right, with the stuff around the world. So I'm willing to give them, like, one year. But still, you know, that's, that's still approaching. We're approaching around the same time as when you would expect the next game. Now, on their website, their website is extremely barren. It's devoid of life, unlike their games, because it's the exact opposite. But on their website, they really don't update it almost at all. But they do give you a little blurb about their next game. They say, our next game is still in early development. I just feel like that wasn't updated yet, because there's no way. There's no way four and a half, five years in, uh, it's still in early development. But the focus is on interactions between humans and urban wildlife we're drawing inspirations from places like eco that's awesome you have like spirited away you have walt disney cutting edge animation i mean there's so here's the thing can i really read into that to describe what this next game is going to be no no because it's very actually hard to describe even what uh the unfinished swan and what remains of either finch are those are very hard games to actually put into words uh the genre the kind of game that they are right so i'm not even gonna try and they're hiring they're hiring a couple different positions but to be honest with you you can't really gain a lot of information from the 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 website um you can go to the the head guy basically of the team he has his own website there's really nothing there ian dallas and uh i mean look the team looks like it's about 15 people max in terms of how many people work there this is not ubisoft <laughs> this is not naughty dog you know we're not talking about a gigantic studio and ultimately and it's something i'm i always try to i guess be careful of when i make these videos not that i think uh, people read into it wrong all the time but uh you know i'm not like forcing it i'm not like demanding their next game comes now this is an incredible team it's it's one of if not the most underrated team i think on the face of the earth considering the size of them again being 15 or less and the games that they put out in terms of quality i mean they're insanely good right the quality is that of games that are made by more than 15 people so this is not a demanding threatening you know video to like give me the next game however it is a plea <laughs> you know it's a, it's a please for the love of god can we have it there does become a point where worrisome like starts like that word starts to maybe pop up is again like factually it takes them a while all right well that's definitely one thing it does take them a while no matter what to make their games and it probably should considering yes they're not that long they're like four or five hour long games you know we're not talking about the longest games ever but they're immensely detailed their kind of core is so well done and you would imagine again like 15 people you know even if it's a five hour game that could take years years and years and years so i don't blame them for taking so long but this is longer than the time in between the last two. Now, in between the last two, we also have the Unfinished Swan being, like, ported up to PS4 because it came out on PS3. Like, they've added devices and systems that these games have come on. Obviously, actually, last month, one month ago, they put What Remains of Edith Finch on current-gen Xbox Series S and X and PS5, and it's a really good update. And, but, you know, I, I really don't count those, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, I, I don't think it's like, all right, well, five years later, they, they moved it up to, they upgraded it to the next-gen that's their game well i mean if it took them five years to put the game out on the next gen consoles there's kind of an issue there isn't there so you know what i mean there there it does become a point 
where it's like, all right, uh, you know, I think it's been long enough. Maybe they're looking at like publishers, right? Like who would publish their game because they would need one of those. But I promise you this, when their game is announced, whatever the game is, it immediately becomes probably like a top three to five most anticipated game. I, you know, it's not the size of God of War Ragnarok or Hogwarts Legacy or the Wonder Woman game from Monolith. Like it's not that, and those are some of my most anticipated games. It's not that, it's not the size, but it belongs, in my opinion, in that conversation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. And I hope to see you all on the next one.